Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Happy New Year. So today I'm going to draw a pretty frequently requested one. So it's uh, Kakashi from Naruto. Uh, pretty popular character. So we're going to get right in. We're going to start. It's a portrait close up as usual. Uh, and we're going to start with his mask that covers his face. So we just have to do like a V sort of shape. That comes up, down. So it's like a arrow pointing up goes over his the bridge of his nose and comes down the side of his face so we just first we go up that way to the middle and then come down the other side so we want to keep going just down to there and then his eye is in here and the other eye is covered so we have his headband that comes down just down along here and his his eye is in here so we can just draw that shape for where the eye will go first just so we know where to place it so we have the top of his mask and we can do the side of his face just here and then the headband will come down and just come past the top of this section of his mouth covering and nose covering so it comes down this way and touches that in there so then he has his eye just in here. So he has a fairly lazy sort of eye. Uh, if you know the character, he sort of always looks like he's real chilled out. And he kind of is always chilled out really. So we can just do a, a, a fairly straight line for the top of his eyelid just here. Just like that. And then he has a dark pupil just in there. So you draw a semicircle and you color it in black. Like that and of course over here he has his Sharingan eye but you can't see it because it's covered if you'd like to do one another Kakashi one with the Sharingan and you can see the scar and everything I could do that as well let me know in the comments and then we have the bottom eyelids just there bring up a bit more maybe he's a little line just under there Then he has a top eyelid that just curves around, just like that. And then we can see some of his eyebrow peeking down from underneath the headband. But it's just a thin line, just like that. And then we can see some of the other side, the eyebrow on the other side, so it comes down. A little spike comes back up like that. Now, so what we can do is finish that headband of his. So it comes down from here, it'll start to come back up to show a fold of it, because it's fabric. And then this will come, this side will come up and meet the spikes of his hair that are just here. So it'll come up just there. And then we'll do the other side. So we'll come over here and it'll curve up a little bit like that. And it'll go right up there and then we're gonna bring it down this way so again curved lines one that way and then another one that starts to go down diagonal towards the hair so it meets hair so if you were doing in pencil you could keep going and then rub it out but because I'm using the marker I'm gonna just add the hair in here so you can add a spike for hair just there and then I'll join that together just there. There's another spike for hair just here. And then this hair goes around his head and sort of is really long on this side. So it's, it's like he's a bit of a fringe coming down, very spiky sort of fringe here. So they're vertical over here. So it just goes up, down, up, down. And then they start to go off this way. Goes back this way start to get bigger as well so they're like shark fins and they go this way come back another one this way right to the edge of my page there and then this one comes down and then this one will go that way so as you can see we're going in a sort of a radial pattern that way and then another one goes back this way and then this one comes down and joins these ones so that's his sort of hairstyle you could do 
differently. You could do them more curvy, straighter, however you feel. So he has the metal plate in the headband. So we'll do that. So we'll just do a line across here. They're kind of rounded at the edges, see? So rounds down, rounds down, comes down and it's diagonal because his headband is slanted. And then this one round, keep going this way. And then back up to there, just a little rectangle with round edges. You can see just a little line for the bottom of that just there to give it a sort of a 3D shape. And then we have the spiral. So we start first just in the middle and it curves around, comes back up that way. And if you wanted, you could do two lines to make it sort of that it's scratched in, or you could just draw a simple line like this, which I think is better. Keep it simple, just like that. But if you were looking for more detail, you could do another line around. Not essential though. We have these circles that show where the headband is attached. The metal plate is attached to the headband, sorry. Just there. And then we're gonna add uh, some hair just here. Sideburns coming down. And then he has an ear, just this side of his head. You can't see the other one because it's covered. So very simple, just like that. Comes down to the ear lobe, just there. And then we have lines for those bones and ligaments in his ears. So we have a curved line there, and a little bit that sticks out, and then another just little line in there. You can do that loads of different ways. Yeah, the easiest way is just like a letter J, simple. Uh, right, so his jaw. So we go down this way, and then we go down this way, and these come down to the chin, right around, and up there. If you wanted, you could do a line just for, um, just to show where his nose maybe is, under there, maybe with some shadow lines, if you wanted. But that's good, in the manga that's co coloured all black anyway, so you probably won't even see that. But if you're doing the anime, you, this would be that navy grey colour like his headband. Depends on what you're looking for. So he has a neck. Surprise, surprise, Kakashi has a neck. <laughs> and there's two lines in there. Uh, and he's some spikes for hair just here beside the beside his neck, just under the headband, same on the other side. Uh, coming down from his ear, yeah, just there. Just like that. And so then he has uh, his sort of shinobi armor. It's a big collar and the shoulder pads just in there. So we can start with this collar, right? So we'll do so we'll do the tops of it first, I guess. So it just curves this way, comes down. And then this comes back up, real thin. Back up and meets his head. And then there's the thick outside part of that. So it curves around here, comes down, just like that. And then it comes back in and joins his neck. So we have a spongy sort of thick end for it. And then this comes back in and meets his neck just in there. And then we have a line just for a shoulder pad that goes right off my page there. Just using a regular rectangle A4 page. If you had if more room on a bigger page, you could keep going. Uh, and we'll do pretty much the same thing on the other side. So we'll go from the hair curve down, curve back up. And always remember, you can just pause this video if I go too fast. And then we have the outside part. Curves around, just there. Another spongy part, just there. And a line there. And it goes 
back into his neck. And then we have shoulder coming off there. And then lines just for the top of that collar. That come down and meet sort of a zipper in there. And there's various lines for different parts of his clothes just there. Maybe some more in here. Yeah, so I'm going to um, color this black now, sort of manga style. So I'll, I'll do this black, this black, uh, and he actually has, so this comes down all the way to his neck. So I'll color that black and I'll speed it up for you. And then we'll come back and see how it looks. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's uh, Kakashi from Naruto or Kakai Sensei, whatever way you'd like to call it. Uh, thanks for all the requests, it's been great. I hope you've had a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And uh, here's to 2019, been a great year. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.